Hi there, this is Renee of RBO, MastermindSuccess.com, and I'm touching base with you today because I'm reading uh, the new Psycho Cybernetics book, and I just happened to have found it on the YouTube series as well. So I would highly recommend reading this book. This was recommended to me by um, one of my mentors, Vic Streisus, and now I can see why. I've only completed the first chapter, but I have quite a bit of highlighted sections in, in just the first chapter, so I'm going to be amazed at, to see how much highlighting I do for the rest of the book. I, I feel silly sometimes for changing the background with pictures and paintings and stuff that I've done, but I have a couple of friends who've asked, you know, for me to include it on um, my videos just so they can see some of the work that I've done. Uh, these are people that have become special to me that I've become friends with over the internet through uh, Skype, believe it or not, and just thought I'd show them a few of my drawings. And um, this one I think is probably one of my more favorite ones because this is a Xerox copy because my camera broke when I tried to take a picture of it before I uh, gave it to the person that I had done it for. And um, the wife had died and it was a special, I don't remember if it was a holiday gift or a Father's Day gift or what it was, but um, the father that they gave it to, um, from what I understand, had cried because it was her essence in the picture, so that made me feel really good. And um, this was... Uh, one of my best friend's um, daughter at the time, she's looking at herself in the mirror, and, oh wait, no, I wasn't, um, uh, yeah, it was a daughter, but it was somebody else's uh, uh, daughter, and um, so they really have enjoyed it. I enjoy looking at the pictures from time to time, and this is just a live copy of a, a, a couple of drawings I saw in a book that I liked and I wanted to check out and see what it would feel like to do them. And, but anyways, getting back to the psycho-cybernetics, I have to look at the name of it because I, <laughs> I forget how, I might mutilate the name otherwise. But the, the first chapter was talking about us all having a secret blueprint. And... What they mean by that is our secret blueprint of our self-esteem and how we react to the world and how the world reacts to us, what our experiences are, and um, how it is possible that if we don't like how life is going for us and how people respond to us, how business responds to us, how we are making money, you know, whether it's sufficient for what we feel we need and so forth and so on. It's already predetermined based on what you have already set in stone and believed. So, what he's saying is that we can change that belief. And I haven't gotten quite that far, but what I did get to uh, towards the end of the chapter was that he recommended that uh, Maltz is the person, but he's passed away since, but he's the author. And he recommended that we search through um, magazines, newspapers, articles, uh, the internet, and put together a scrapbook of the traits that you admire and that you want to be within you. Does that make sense at all? I was, I, I was reading it and it really makes a lot of sense because, like for me, Les Brown, I feel, is a phenomenal speaker. And I resonate with his life story so much. Uh, I may not have the same exact story, but the essence of the story is there, and, and I resonate with him so much, and I admire him with his great tenacity to overcome um, 
what other people thought of him and how they they didn't think he was going to get very far in life because they felt that he was educably retarded and or challenged I guess it would be but he showed them he worked hard he accomplished so much and uh, and then he overcame cancer I believe twice and he's still going and he's an amazing speaker and an amazing man and so he would certainly be one of the people that I would put into my scrapbook what about you who would you put into your scrapbook you know of uh, people that you admire that you would like to pick up a trait or two from them and what are those traits that you admire? That's what I'd like to know. Because we are all unique. We are all special. And I just feel that we all have something wonderful to contribute into life. And all it is that we need to do is find out what it is that is. Um... I would certainly love to be a, a wonderful writer, so I need to decide who it is that I identify for for that skill. And they're saying to take pictures, or you know, put together pictures, articles, and stuff like that that you find you resonate with in your heart. That that somehow it makes you feel like you're coming alive when you hear that person, when you see that person, when you see a book, when you see a video, when you see an object, whatever it is. So I have made I'm making that a new task of mine. I know I have a lot of tasks going on, a lot of to do things, but I, this one I can see how when you identify yourself with traits that you admire of other people and if you resonate very closely with it and you're constantly going through the scrapbook, you're putting it together, maybe you're making some notes um, as you go. I have a scrapbook all set up and ready and you make notes as you go and things that you really like about them and why and what how does it make you feel and and if you want um, this goes with um, your day-to-day -day life this goes with uh, your money life your success life it goes with your relationship life it goes with um, your health life and how you enjoy it and and your travel life and your um, interaction with other people whether it be online uh, maybe maybe there's a different trait that works best for online and a, and a totally uh, another totally different trait that works for in person, you know, and, and in video. So I think this is going to be a really fun challenge. So I would challenge you to do the same. I would love to hear what you have to say about it and what your experience is and how it makes you feel. Does it get you excited? Did it motivate you? Um, it, it could be motivating you. Well, like for me, <laughs> I need to lose some weight. And so I certainly want to find um, some identity with that, you know, uh, of how people think or feel, or maybe it's just the way they talk about your self-esteem and how you feel about yourself. I don't know. So um, send me a message. Let me know what you think. You can always click on the link below and I will keep you up to date as to what's going on. I would love to have you come join me at rbomastermindsuccess.com and the Big Idea Mastermind is something that will definitely help you grow and it will help you get to the financial point that you want to be and um, help teach you some skills as well. We can certainly learn together because uh, I have a lot, lot to learn, a lot, a lot going on. 
and uh, still feeling my way. I, I, I actually, I think I, I already know my way, but you never know. Uh, as, as I grow and learn, I might decide I want to expand that um, original thought a little bit more and certainly want to raise my self-esteem to where um, <laughs> almost like I can glow in the night, you know, happy happy balls, you know, and happy happiness. So uh, let's rock, rock, rock together, and let's have some fun and stay in touch. If you don't want to leave a message on YouTube and you know how to get a hold of me, feel free. And you can also get a hold of me by signing up for my list. And uh, you can uh, manage to get in touch with me that way as well. So click the link below. Let's get started. I want to wish you much success. Peace and love. I did that out of order. Uh, peace and love. And uh, kiss kids. I hope you enjoy. And just for a quick, oops, I don't, I'm don't. i not very good at angles here. But there's a quick look of uh, some of my work. So those are drawings. And that's actually, those are actually Xerox copies of the, the drawings because uh, my camera wasn't working at that time. And then that's a live picture. So the Xerox, cut, you know, cut gives a pretty good idea of what happens. Anyways, talk to you later. Have fun. Good night. Dr. Maltz was way ahead.